me close the door. So today, what I wanted to talk about was the reusable canning lids. So they're made by Tatler, and they come in two pieces. They have wide mouth and small mouth, and they come with this little plastic piece, and they come with the rubber ring. Kind of like if you were going to use a Weck jar, if you're normal, it's kind of more of a European thing. I've seen them used there more, but they're very similar. Now I had a little concern over using the plastic um, that's, you know, I just don't like plastic and heating it and on your food and everything, but after I did a lot of research, and this is a regular ball canning lid, um, what is used on the canning lids to basically seal them, because even though these are stainless steel, they'll rust. If anyone's like tried to ferment something with these, you, you've found that it would rust, because these aren't reusable, these are disposable. So. The coating that's used on them is basically the exact same thing that this is, but I don't have to throw these away. So let me show you some things that I've realized and they are different in their directions and also the directions that they give when they come with it, they're different than normal canning. So if you're used to just kind of like mindlessly, you know, putting the lid on, throwing them in there, you're going to have to kind of look over this and, and really see the differences in it. But also a big part of what I've noticed is you really have to flip the jar. And I had a bunch of seal failures, which is always heartbreaking because there's some food, you know, most usually things should not be reprocessed. Um, sometimes you have something like, like I can dog food or things like that. Like I'll, I'll reprocess it. But typically you don't want to. It breaks the food down too much or it'll change the actual consistency um, of whatever you're canning. So let me show you how I use these Tatler lids and the little trick that I showed you or I talked about, which was flipping them. Hey everybody. So I wanted to talk to you about the Tatler lids. I'm not sure if you've heard about these. They're reusable canning lids. So Tatler is a company that makes a reusable canning lid because technically these ball lids, these are disposable. So you're not really supposed to use these more than once. Now sometimes I do if I'm canning like soap or if I'm canning um, dog food, I'll reuse these, but you're really not supposed to. So when we found these, I was really excited because not that it's just, it's sustainable and that's a good thing. You don't want to be throwing things into the garbage, but they um, the price point on them is really decent compared to these, which I'm going to have to continue buying forever. And it lowers the amount cost of my canning. Also with these, I'm going to talk about a few things that are different with the process because you don't use them the same as you would use um, a ball canning lid. There's actually different steps and directions to them. They come in regular and they come in wide mouth and they always have a separate little rubber ring. Now I've seen some reviews about the rubber ring eventually does go, but something this small is a lot less in the trash than multiple of these. So you have your jar, put your ring on, and one thing you have to make sure of is that that is centered perfectly on top of your jar. So if it's like this has a little more wiggle room to be slid and when you slide it see how that inches out and that's going to affect the seal on your ring so you're going to make sure it's perfectly centered put your ring on and you do them even looser than you do the ball lids they stay finger tight these ones stay even looser just until like you can spin the jar they then and when they're going to go into your pressure canner and when they come out you're going to let them sit, they're going to vent just like a normal lid, and then once they have waited about five minutes, the jar is still very hot, but that, that's when you want to actually tighten it down and flip it. So flipping it, I have found, is really, really essential for make sure you don't have a, a, lid, a jar seal failure. So before I was flipping them, I would have... They, sometimes they would seal and then they'd be in my cabinet and then you know a month later the, the seal would come loose and that was really really heartbreaking of course I had the same thing happen with the ball jar and a lot of that's just from siphoning but I had it happen even more with these 
but that was before I flipped them. As long as you flip them, I have had zero failures at all. Um, I can't say the same for the ball, the ball jars. But other than that, they're exactly the same. You do have to get them to 24 hours, and you flip them back over like normal. You would take your ring off, and just like normal, you would test it by picking it up by the by the lid. That's on there, good. And then, you, of course, you want to clean it, which I haven't done on this one yet. And then you can put them away. So I hope this helps if those were something you were looking into or if you have them and you've been frustrated with them with the seal failures in the directions they do bring and give to you. It doesn't say anything about flipping the jars over. Um, I was talking to a, a friend from Europe. They use the WEC jars, which has like the glass lid, but it has that same rubber band seal. And she goes, you've got to flip them over. She goes, try to flip it because it has that loose rubber seal that's separate from the lid. And once I started flipping them, I have not had a problem with them. So these are what I'm going to be using exclusively. I still have some ball lids that I've already purchased, so I will be using those up just so they don't go to waste. But the Tatler lids are definitely a good price point, a good investment, and I'm really, really happy with them. I also am one of those people that, as much as something is sustainable, I just hate having to remember to buy one more thing when I need it. I like just having it here. I like to, you know, grocery shop in my cabinets and in my pantry. I don't want to have to think about having to put another thing on the list. So that is a big, you know, pro side for me and I really, really love about them. So I hope this was helpful for you.